Hi, this is Michael from My Kevin Videos. And today I'm going to show you how to create a texty app. Tech, er, frosty text effect. Or it can look like that. Alright, well, let's get to it. First, let me close this one. Okay. So first, what we're going to want to do is create a new project. And the size of it doesn't matter, I'm just going to keep it as a default. Now, first thing we need to do is color in your background black. Then change your foreground color to white and grab the text. Um, I'm using, for my font, I'm using Zyrod, but you can use whatever. Um, and I'll leave a link in, in the description for Zyrod if you want to download that. <coughs> and so now I'm just going to type Michael. And this, you don't have to do this part. But, um, I just want it centered, so. Now, we going to go to Layer, Layer to Image Size, and then right click on your layer over here, and Alpha 2 Selection. And you want to go to, and this is a, also an optional step you can do with or without. It just kind of makes it look cooler if you have it with. So you go to Alpha Filters, Alpha to Logo, and Chrome, <coughs> and make sure it's about 10. Push OK. Now you should get this. And just go to your background number one right here and fill that with black again. Now you want to go to your top layer, right click, and push the merge down. So you should have a background number one and a drop shadow. Now you want to right click on drop shadow and alpha to selection. Now you want to go to filters, alpha to logo, and frosty. And you want to make it around 120. And push OK. And just wait for that to go. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want it to have a black, white background, as I showed you, you can just click that and it. I think it looks cool both ways, but whichever way you like, because I just like it this way, kind of, for, because it kind of repeats and has that nice shadow effect. On this, it doesn't have its shadow effect, but. Whatever, it's your choice. And, uh, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to create an icy text effect on in-game. Alright, bye.